From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Ed's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, we're going to start things off here with your satellite image here. This is a high-resolution satellite coming from the Internet. Now, what you'll notice, of course, the smoky skies, especially for the north end of the valley and smoke off to the north and west. Better conditions for Siskiyou, Modoc, and the eastern mountains, so they're not necessarily dealing with that. But what we're seeing ha happen here is that smoke is slowly retreating off to the north and to the west. So conditions are improving, and it really just depends on where you are. What I want to do is take a look at the air quality kind of across all of Northern California. Once again, we're seeing the worst conditions here in this area right here, where we typically have seen most of the smoke. Better conditions as you head off to the east and to the north and even down to the south. And really, even to kind of bring it in closer to the city of Redding, it's the west side of Redding that we're seeing the most amount of smoke and the worst air quality. As you head east, even into Palisadro, much better conditions there. And of course, east of that, still some haze and smoke as you head south, but just not as bad as we're seeing here on the west side of Redding and even into the foothills there as well. All right, let's go and take you to the weather computer here. We're going to take a look at that smoke forecast. And, you know, I think the smoke for the most part is going to improve through the afternoon. However, we have another plume of smoke coming in from the fires later this evening and tonight. And I think we're going to see another round of smoky skies overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. But what we're going to see happen is even by eight o'clock in the morning, most of that smoke should be gone. And not to mention as we take you into the second half of the day tomorrow. But at that point, we're now introducing chances for rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. But we got that big cool down for tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms starting tomorrow. And Saturday, minus a weak disturbance passing through today, which we'll get into here in a second, and then dry and mild for the second half of your Labor Day weekend. So for the valley, yeah, I think we're going to see some passing clouds, but overall, I expect it to be dry with temperatures in the low 90s. Now, what you're seeing here are some lightning strikes here. Don't be too concerned about that. I think it's mainly going to be in the form of showers. I think the forecast models are kind of overdoing it here with this hourly forecast. I think it'll just be a few showers. If we see any lightning strikes, it'll be few and far between. The main area of low pressure right now is diving down to the south. And you can see this is the band of rain that is going to be approaching. Now, what I expect to see happen here is as we take you through the afternoon, that band of rain will dissipate and break apart as it typically does on these weak systems as it moves over the coastal range in the Trinity Alps and not to mention the Marble Mountains. So you can see this is where the main band of rain will be by 5 p.m. today. You see how it's really breaking apart. So if there is any shower activity for the valley, it will be late this afternoon. That being said, it's really dry right now. This is a weak system as you can see as it is. So if we do see any rain dropping from those clouds, it'll most likely evaporate before it reaches the ground. But we can't rule out a stray sprinkle or a light shower, so don't be surprised. But I wouldn't cancel the outdoor plans if you're in the valley. Then as that band moves eastward, we'll see kind of maybe some redevelopment and better chances for some light showers in Modoc County, Siskiyou County, and the Eastern Mountains. But you can see just how light and insignificant it is. It's Friday. That's the main event. So we start you off with Friday morning at 8 a.m. There you can see the bulk of the activity, some heavy rainfall, I think, in some areas here. Now, we're going to take a look at some flash flash flood watches. And there's a very good chance we're going to see some watches off to the east as well. And not to mention, eventually through the main event itself on Friday, we may be talking about some flash flood warnings as well, because this is heavy rain. And with all the burn scars out there, that could create problems with land mudslides and debris flows. Now, notice the spin with this activity. That's because there's an upper area of low pressure that's associated with this, and that'll bring us showers and thunderstorms for the valley, for the mountains, and even for the coast. Now, as we take you into Friday night, we're still seeing some activity out there because it's not just the daytime heat that's going to help to pr 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 provide these thunderstorms, but it's the overall instability associated with the area of low pressure that's going to bring us more showers and thunderstorms even overnight. But it does quiet down a bit as we go into Saturday. Saturday morning, a few showers off to the east, maybe some thunderstorms, but not as much activity off to the west. Now, the main spin, the center of the low, is now a little bit off to the west, so we're seeing less activity as a result over Northern California. So I think the main event is going to be Friday. 
Then on Saturday, still a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, just not as widespread, and we won't see those long, prolonged periods of heavy rainfall. Now that's Saturday, and then of course as we take a look at that flash flood watch, now right now it's mainly for western Siskiyou County, northern Trinity County. I'd be willing to guess that as we go through the afternoon, we may see some uh, watches for other parts of the higher elevations as well, especially off to the east, because I do anticipate to see some heavy rainfall there. With those watches, it's mainly localized flooding because of the slow moving storms possibly, and of course the mudslides and debris flows with a lot of the burn scarred areas. Here's Sunday. There may be some leftover showers for the south portions of the eastern mountains. So in Plumas County, maybe as far north as Susanville, maybe some Sunday morning showers, but but by Sunday afternoon, I think it'll all pretty much be gone. And then all of next week, long range forecast models are pretty much in good agreement that it will be dry through all of next week. So let's talk about that area of low pressure I was talking about. That's the cooler source of air I was talking about in the low 70s for many of us in the valley. And remember, we were taking a look at those storms and the, the rain was kind of moving in a counterclockwise rotation. That's because of this right here. This is the main area of low pressure. This will eventually kind of break apart, move itself off to the east, and temperatures will warm up a little bit for next week, probably somewhere in the upper 80s and low 90s, but as long as we see these storm systems kind of ride to our north with the cooler air associated with it, it'll prevent this heat from building in, and that's the reason why our temperatures really won't warm up a whole lot and should stay below normal through next week. So here's what it looks like today. Temperatures low 90s pretty much anywhere you go in the valley. We're going to be looking at showers for Trinity County eventually. And then, and of course, later this afternoon and evening, looking at some activity here for uh, Siskiyou County, Modoc County, not to mention the Eastern Mountains. So your seven-day outlook. Here's what we've got here. Chance for showers today but I don't anticipate much in the way of thunderstorm activity. Better chances for thunderstorms on Friday is the main event, less act activity, but still a chance on Saturday. Then for the most part, it dries out on Sunday. Now looking at the valley, I've got thunderstorms in the forecast for tomorrow. Still a chance for some isolated thunderstorms on Saturday, but as you saw in future casts, doesn't look as promising. Doesn't look like we'll see as much widespread activity here. Then by Sunday, we are looking at drier conditions and that'll be the case for your Labor Day as well. And mainly sunny skies here for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.